Hi, I'm PGA professional Cody Barden, and today's tip we're going to talk about the importance of wrist cock and the role that it plays in a good golf swing. More importantly, we're going to give you a drill that I think will help you with wrist cock the next time you're out to the range. Uh, early in my career, one of my mentors was a fellow by the name of Jim Flick. Many of you have either worked with Jim or know of him, and uh, Jim would always say, there's something about a golf club that weighs less than a pound and a golf ball that weighs less than an ounce that makes the ordinary golfer want to commit an act of violence. And I always thought how, how true that was. Well, with that added grip pressure that all of us have when we get set up to hit a golf shot early on, we tend to struggle with the wrist cock as a result. We, we can't get the hinge in the wrist that we really need to hit a good golf shot. So let me talk you through one of my favorite drills to help fix that. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate from the side so it's a little bit easier to see. We're going to go ahead and get set up and we'll notice how in this picture if I'm, if I'm real tight my hands will sit very very high and there's a ton of tension in my hands, my arms and, and most importantly my wrist. So as I swing the golf club I really look awkward. All right, My golf club is tracking too much to the inside I might even pick my whole body up because of the tension in my arms and my, and my upper body. Rather than taking the club back and cocking it correctly from the front, that wrist cock looks kind of like this. I've got so much tension that I can't get that in my golf swing. So if that sounds familiar or you've got a friend that struggles with this, go ahead the next time you're out to the range and try this drill. Get yourself set up as though you're going to hit a shot cock the golf club up parallel to the ground. All right. When you've done that, you've activated the wrist joint and that's all the wrist cock you need in your golf swing. So go ahead and swing the golf club all the way to the top of the backswing and then on the way down, very carefully, you want to find your way back to the ball. All right. So again, get yourself set up in your normal, your normal posture, <clears throat> dress position, cock the golf club up parallel to the ground it's important here at this point not to lift the club out or to raise it up and out away from the, the original setup position, but simply just cock it. And then allow the club to work to the top of the backswing. Feel that position. You're neither laid off or across the line. You're just right. And then you're going to find your way back to the ball at impact. I'll demonstrate one from face on and uh, hopefully I won't hurt anybody in the studio. So here we are. We get that up. We're going to raise the golf club up, cocking it parallel to the ground. And then from there, we're going to start our golf swing and try to make solid contact. So the next time you're out to the range, if real tight hands and arms tend to creep into your game once in a while, try this drill where you reset the wrist cock taking the club all the way to the top and finding your way back down to impact. It's not easy to make solid contact the first couple of times. It'll take some rehearsal, but if you start with perhaps a half swing after you've cocked the club up and just take the club back maybe where the arms are parallel to the ground, then that, that, that's a good starting point. And once you do a few of those, I'm confident that you'll be really comfortable making a full swing at full speed and hit some of the best golf shots you've ever hit. I hope you enjoy that tip and I hope it works most importantly. Good luck.